All right, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up a super delicious chicken pecan quiche. This is my absolute favorite quiche. Super easy to make, and the crust is delicious. So don't use a store-bought crust for this one. Definitely make this crust. Now to start, you want to combine all your dry ingredients. Your flour, a little salt and paprika, some pecans, and your cheese. Then go ahead and spoon your ingredients together and get them all nice and mixed up. Then we're going to add our vegetable oil, spoon that in, get that mixed up thoroughly so that everything's coated in oil. And we're going to end up with a nice little mushy lump that we're going to be able to roll right into our pie tin. Spread it out with your spoon, you know, work it to the edges. Go ahead and take your hand and flatten it out because you want it to be even so that it'll cook evenly. And then take your thumbs around the edges and build up the sides of the crust, you know, make it a nice little curb. Then we're going to slide that into a preheated oven and let it bake at 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. When it comes out, we're going to go ahead and let it cool completely. And while that's happening, we'll mix up our quiche filling. In a mixing bowl, combine your sour cream, your mayonnaise, a little bit of chicken stock, and your eggs. Then mix that together, whip it up thoroughly so that you end up with a smooth consistency. To that, we'll add some chopped chicken, some minced onion, dried dill weed, cheese, and then hot sauce to taste. We're using Tabasco, but you can use whatever kind that you're in love with. Now mix that into a big medieval gruel looking bowl, and then we're gonna pour that into our cooled pie crust. La 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 la. Top it with about a quarter cup of pecans, you know, spread them out so that it's nice and pretty. Then we're going to slide it into the oven and let it cook at 350 degrees for about one hour. Leave it cook a few minutes more or less, you know, whatever it takes in your oven to get that golden brown color. You know, but when it's all set and done, you know, don't cut it right away. You know, let it, let it rest for about 10 or 15 minutes. Then you can go ahead and cut into it. And, you know, scarf it on down because it's going to be delicious hot or it's going to be delicious cold, however you want it. It's definitely one of my all-time favorites. Say, give it a try and let me know what you think. Bon appetit. I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> Grrrr!